fantastic grilled chicken with eggs some sharp cheddar cheese and we did like a a sauce that i've been holding dear to the heart for a while this came together absolutely fantastic it's actually one of my favorite breakfast you guys watch this Before we get started, first order of business. I told you, I told you guys when it was available and by the time you get this video, it will be available. We have other shirts available, but those three shirts that we showed you previously are now available. Uh, there's a logo and then on the back, we just switched the letters from gray to white. That was kind of like a hiccup for us, but I think it pops more, it shows more. Uh, so just let you guys know that the shirts are available on theflattopking.com along with our spices. And I guess by the time you get this video, our seasonings are in production. We do not have them yet. That does take time. And once we get them, it takes time as well. Our seasoning, our barbecue seasoning is in production. So I'll try to keep you guys updated as soon as we know something. And that's all I know. All right. I think it's one of the best sauces out there. I've been hesitant to make the video because it is so simple. Uh, I'm not really teaching anything today. But the sauce is the key to this. This is what it looks like. It's been refrigerating overnight. So really quick. Um, it's very, very simple. It's very, very easy. It's very, very similar to one of my favorite smash burger sauces or burger sauces in general. If you guys are interested, this recipe will be on theflattopking.com. Star of the show, horseradish. It reminds you of a, what kind of sauce? Uh, Blooming onion, comeback sauce, stuff like that. Now from here, you can... Obviously, when you're doing burgers, you can always add your pickles, your onions, and stuff like that. But the base of this is fantastic. And as it sits, it gets stronger, more flavorful, and it's the whole idea of this video. It actually pairs really well with the chicken and eggs. We had it at a restaurant many, 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 many years ago. And we have been watching our beef intake. I know it sounds crazy considering we just posted a three-pound porterhouse with <laughs> eggs but that's probably why we're watching it <laughs> that was enough beef for oh, two weeks <laughs> <laughs> yeah we watched a show yesterday that said uh three ounces of meat is considered a, a standard portion not for us <laughs> we have some chicken tenderloins i think it's a fantastic way for this uh little burrito style i'm just going to shake that kind of like just a all-purpose Salt, pepper, garlic, and butter. You know, here we talk about it all the time. I don't want to over-season this. I just think that the um, the flavors themselves need to come together naturally, like kind of like a light tasting because the sauce, once again, is what it's all about. Just a little avocado oil down the griddle. Try to do this left-handed, which I am horrible at. Griddle started smoking, which means it's up to temp. We got the halo on, all three burners on low, the right one's off. And we're just gonna cook these tenderloins until the internal temp of about 160. You can cook your chicken to the temperature that you think is necessary for you. Once your chicken's done, just go ahead and clean your griddle. Get ready for those eggs. You can see like if, if we go left, the griddle gets hotter. If we go right, the griddle gets cooler. Only had, uh, eventually I end up turning this one down. So we're gonna use this spot right here. I like this spot right here. Pinch of salt, pinch of pepper. All right, we're on low carb today. 
griddle still on. I'm just gonna warm that up a little bit. Throw down some sharp cheddar cheese. Pepper Jack would work fantastic with this. Honestly, it's what I wanted, but we already had this in the refrigerator. We gotta use some of the stuff we got. We're getting two full. Okay. Still want your chicken juicy. Yeah, I thought the tenderloins would be a great uh, substitute for this. I know what mm. you're thinking. You could have bought your whole chicken, you know, and do it. But I didn't want 15 chicken breasts in the house with 15 chicken tenderloins. Add that sauce. You could even turn this into a lunch. Leave off the egg and just add in like some lettuce and tomato. Mm. So there's a lot of things. Like I said, it's just Golly. based around the. That sauce with the chicken is amazing. Ooh, a little rippage. That is a breakfast burrito. I'll make one more for my soup. I know it doesn't seem like much, but it is packed with flavor. All right, guys, there you go. There's my hidden gem. That's one of my favorite ways to do it. It just gets you away from that kind of like the sausage, the bacon, you know, the, just sometimes the harshness of what breakfast can give. Um, it does seem like it's a little bit on the lighter fare. I know what you're thinking, tortillas, the sauce and all that, but. At least it's white meat. <laughs> yes, and you know, we're using low carb tortillas for us with how what, what we eat, this is healthy for us. And it's packed with protein. Yep. You can use that sauce dipping, I'm telling you, it doesn't look like much. You can always add jalapenos, color if you wanted to, but this would as be it really stands good, on its own. Like with some fajita vegetables. Mm -mm. <laughs> Just like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the cheese. Mm. 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 Good Lord of mercy. Well, you attack that down there. <laughs> There ain't nothing left. <laughs> one bite wonder. Easy video. Great way just to switch it up. Breakfast obviously is iconic on the griddle and we absolutely love them. I mean, we're chowing down. We got some friends over. They're gonna have one, see what they think. I think they'll love it. If you guys are interested, we have a join button down below. It's a membership program. We thank each and every one of you for taking time for doing so. You can also check us out on The Griddle Group on Facebook. We talk about griddles, smokers, combination of the two and actually it's where I get a lot of inspiration from you guys when you post your pictures and your ideas. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button. Pound the note. No, 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 no. Peace. <laughs> <I'm eating. laughs>